Hey everyone, my name is Jay. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be doing a quick review of the DC Icons number three, Green Arrow. So this will be just a pretty quick review. As some of you know, the DC Icons line has been canceled for a while, but I got this on a sale. If you watched my reviews, if you're one of the 20 people who've seen my toy reviews, then you know that I do like getting stuff on sale. It's just I'm always broke. But anyway, um, again, this is a this is a very cool looking toy. I was super excited when the DC Icons line was um announced some years ago, and yeah, I just never got to it. I was in college then. I had and I'm working now, so hey, I have money. Wow, cool. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, Green Arrow. So, anyway, let's open him up. Um, okay, I've already opened this actually, but you know, for the sake of reviews, let's try. Um, oh, it's kind of hard to open. I, I opened you already. Don't don't embarrass me in front of people. All right, I opened it here at the bottom. All right, before we continue, let me just give you a quick look at the box. So, that's him, Oliver Queen, and all his uh. Robin Hood Glory, Green Arrow, 3, again, part of DC Icons, you can see that over here, number 3. And I believe this, I'm not sure if this was from the first line or the second, uh, first or second wave of the line. But yeah, you can see here there's Batman, the Batman, Dead Man, um, Green Arrow, and Mr. Miracle. Okay, about 2 minutes into this review and uh, hopefully I haven't messed this up. How are you, by the way? How are you doing? If I hope this is, doesn't date the video too much, but currently I am. We are in quarantine. Particular virus has taken the world by storm. And yeah, okay, so let's look at what we have in the box. Of course, we have the figure and I don't know, just part of the packaging. Inside the figure, as you can see, we have a bunch of arrows. Um, so based on what I see, we only have two working arrows and these are just two bundled ones. Um, unless you're gonna play with it to display that he's doing two arrows. Um, these are just for the uh, for the quiver, for the quiver. I know words. Um, he has a couple of hand accessories there. We'll look into that later. Of course, it's a bow. And a little instruction manual. Uh, nothing too huge, so just here we'll talk about it later um see we have green arrow here mr miracle um dead man and batman over here just a quick instruction on you know how to put accessories change hands and stuff like that so taking him out of the box Get down. <sighs> So, yeah, here's good old-fashioned, uh, good old green arrow. Um, let's do a little size comparison, so I, I hope this stands. So, yeah, not much of a plan here. I just wanted to do, do something, you know, share something I like with all y'all. So, anyway, um, comparing, I believe this is a 6-inch six, six line, maybe 6.5. I'm, I'm not too sure, but pretty... Um, I just believe it's within six inches. So we're comparing him here seven inch toy line the WWE Mattel basics and I guess he's a little taller because this is spin from the six inch uh, Oops, don't fall on me now <laughs> Again, but yeah, that's Finn from the six inch Star Wars black series. So as you can see yeah, I think six inch scale. Yeah, sure um yeah, we could review this some other time, but we are looking at this guy. So, talk about accessories later. Just show you. So, here, you can pull down the hood, but this is just for me to show you the possibility. Okay. Um, I think that's a ball joint in the head, so you can turn that, swivel that, blah, blah, blah. Put that, up, put that back on. So, of course, this is going to be for both of his arms. Um, yeah, so shoulder moves out that far, um, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, as you can see there, one joint, two joint, pow, so that's pretty cool, 
um, wrist, wrist swivel, and wrist can move back and forth like that. And these are removable, which we will look at later. He doesn't have a waist swivel, uh, waist swivel, yeah. But he does have a couple of interesting articulations. One is, I believe this is a chest ball joint, but you, um, see here, segmentation here. So the waist move right there. So like a pelvic swing like that, see? But here on the chest or upper torso, it's supposed to move, but it's kind of tight. But yeah, um, hope I hope you guys can see it. So it's kind of tight. So it's move. It's moving like, uh, uh, and then, uh, <laughs> and we move to the hips now. So they're um, just showing. It's kind of. I'm pretty sure it's kind of like a ball joint. But anyway, it move, spreads that far. I believe the skirt is giving us a bit of an issue. Double jointed knee. Pretty cool, I like that. Um, yeah, uh, don't know how to uh, to verbalize this, but there's an interesting ankle joint. So it moves in and out that far, as you can see. But it's not necessarily the uh, pivot left and right. It's kind of like that. So there's, I'm not ju just not sure how to label that articulation. But it's cool. It can give us a number of interesting poses. Um, but enough of that. Let's get into his accessories. So if uh, just before I go into that, just showing you that he has punching hands, which we won't use for now because we will put in the accessories. So we will use these. Uh, it's a lot of me in this video. I'm just oh, look at this. We'll use these. So this is the, I believe this is for the bow, and then this hand, I pointed to the camera, is for pulling on the arrow. Okay, let's pull that. Put that in here. As you can see, it's not really. He doesn't have um, interchangeable hands, so he can only hold the bow with his. Uh, left hand and the arrows with this right, but that's okay. That's okay. This is a bow. It's pretty cool. This is a, a little detail. So it's a brown handle. Hope you can see that. And then there's a tab here where you can put the arrow on. And you know what? Pretty elastic string for the pulling action. Let's put on the arrows now. Ah, making a mess over here. So as I told you earlier, these are in pairs. So can't really do much with them. Just put them in the quiver, which I have to admit, hmm? looks pretty nice. Looks pretty nice. And of course, since you can only play with one arrow, uh, with one arrow, arrow number five, into the quiver you go. So makes it look like a pack. Quiver. So let's just uh, put this bad boy on. Not sure. Haven't done this in a while, so I believe it should be here. Uh, the tab should be on top because ideally, if you were uh, an archer, you would want your arrow to be on top. Okay, so this is supposed to peg in here. Right? Not the easiest thing, but not necessarily the hardest thing either. And we just, so as you can see, there's a uh, tab, and then we just pull the, put the arrow in. Okay. Um, And his his fingers is done like that, so kind of you can pull the arrow. It's supposed to be like that. Okay, so he's just about ready to, um, you know, hit his not hit his mark, but just about ready to pick a target, I suppose. 
so that's pretty much it that's all i really have to say about the dc uh, icons green arrow as it stands i do like the figure it looks nice um the detail and the accessories are pretty cool actually if you look at that the thing holding up his quiver is a, that that rubber thing is actually posable too so it shouldn't snap my main problem is the lack of posability and as much as it has some decent articulation it is hindered by the costume um as i said the waist can only move so far i mean sure can work with that it's cool biggest problem i have is with the head because he can't really look that way unless you want him to look stupid see um, his hood doesn't really move and you don't really have an option to keep to keep the hood down so it's like that it just looks weird um also we kind of find this um hairstyle sorry hairstyle for ollie a little weird but nonetheless i do think it's a nice figure um again i got it on sale so i don't really have much to complain about the details on this is are pretty nice the paint um doesn't have much paint so you don't really need to worry about chipping it really is just an issue of the posability in my opinion the accessories are there it's cool and everything like that the details there does have a few um imperfections but then again this isn't the most expensive line or the most premium line so i understand that one thing also it's kind of lanky so this guy is supposed to be a superhero but again let's if we compare him to black series finn now as you can see his arms although kind of get some muscle over there finn is thicker and nothing against oliver queen again let's put them side by side you know this guy is packing more meat on the bones this guy probably not looks like a snake turned into a man then uh, okay and enough about that so all right let's give him a rating um just final comparisons again to a very basic action figure that, but i do love the set from the seven inch scale ww metal basic this is william regal so put them side by side so as you can see a lot more heft on this guy as well from the six inch line detail no problem possibility you do have options accessories pretty good so with that said i'll give this a 2.5 out of 5. not much else to say i do like the green arrow character and this is a perfect um not perfect but a really good representation of that character but you know could have done something uh could have been better I know that there was the DC Universe line that, that that did it better, I believe. But hey, uh, unfortunately, the line is canceled now, and yeah, I have nothing more to say. There, there will definitely be more Green Arrow figures out there. It's a he's a very popular character, and I'm pretty sure you can get this on the secondary market. Just search it up on eBay or something like that. And this is the first of many toy reviews. I do have a few reviews on my channel, but. You know, this is the first i've done in a while so i hope you like it if you have any comments please uh put them down below this as you can see this is done in one take so this will be the theme of what i'm doing just um one take toy reviews of what i have because can't go out, get, can't go out outside again okay enough rambling enough babbling i've been jay this has been my channel this has been the dc icons uh green arrow and I hope you're doing fine this quarantine. I'll see you soon.